Thank you, Deborah, and thank you as always to the team at Invest NI for helping develop these social media series workshops. My name is Declan Murda, and I'm a digital consultant with Brilliant Red Digital. There will be an opportunity at the end to to ask some questions. Um, I'm going to try and keep this webinar as engaging and and as as relevant to your business as as possible. Today's webinar focuses on the concept of social selling and, and how your B2B business can adopt a social selling approach in order to drive sales. I guess there's a, a lot of hype and a lot of conversations around social selling and how companies and, and how sales teams can can integrate social media into their, their selling activities. So today we're going to look at I suppose what is meant by the term social selling, you know, what's involved in it, you know, and, and how you can build an effective um, sales network online and on social media. We look at what role content marketing plays in social selling. We look at how to nurture those leads and how this process should, I suppose, inevitably create brand advocates. Um, we'll also look at some B2B content ideas that have proven to, to work. Uh, and we'll also look at, I suppose, the, the difficulty in measuring social selling success and maybe some tips on, on how to do that. So I guess with, without further ado, let's let's get started. Um, you know, let's look at you know how you know we can drive sales to your B two B business through what we call social selling excellence. Uh, so what is social selling? And a lot of people, you know, I have spoken to in the past, and and some existing clients think it's maybe a combination of marketing and advertising on social media, but it it's much more than just marketing or, or social media advertising and it's a concept more related to the sales side of the business or the, the sales teams and, and part of the sales process and um, you know it, it's really driven and managed by sales teams um, in cooperation with the marketing department and you know for a lot of sales teams it is you know, completely the, replaced, I suppose, the, the dreaded practice of, of cold calling, um, which can be very challenging, which can be very difficult. Um, and I know a lot of people don't really like like doing it. So let's look at a definition of, of how Hootsuite, who are a, a global authority on, on social media, um, define social selling. So social selling is the art of using social media. And the key thing is here is to find connect with, understand, and nurture sales prospects. So it's a modern way to develop these meaningful relationships with potential customers so that when they're ready to buy, your brand or you or your business is the first person that they, the prospect thinks of whenever they're ready to make that decision or start that process of, of in, in engaging in, in finding a, a business. What it does is it puts, it puts the customer are the potential customer's needs at the forefront of the sales process rather than the sale or the sales transaction. It's all about the customer and the customer's needs. And it's, it is a relatively new approach um, to selling. And what it does, is it allows salespeople to, to laser target prospects and establish rapport within you know, the, their social networks. And providing that you have developed a professional brand online, which we'll speak about briefly later, um, you will be able to start a process of engagement that'll ultimately generate leads and conversions because you'll find the right prospects, you'll, you'll provide insights to them and you'll build these relationships. And social networks play a key role in providing information to the market, to providing information to people online. And I suppose businesses having that ability to add context to the sales conversation with with content on social media you know that's a fantastic opportunity and and with these social networks you know they provide this highly accurate data and it allows these sales teams you know to engage with the right prospects for for better qualified leads and that's this newfound intelligence um, and which which brings about better lead generation and, and better sales prospecting processes. And you know, if your company maybe isn't engaging in a formal or even an informal social selling process, you know, here's a few statistics which might 
you know, which would sort of I suppose, focus on the benefits of, of adopting a, a social selling strategy or, or process. So we have 78% of social sellers are said to outsell peers who don't use social media in the sales process, according to LinkedIn. 39% of B2B professionals say that they're able to reduce account and contact research time with social selling tools. 89% of top performing salespeople say social networking platforms such as LinkedIn are important for closing deals and are part of their overall sales strategy. And 53% of customer loyalty is driven by a salesperson's ability to deliver unique insights. And that will be part of the, um, the sales process is, is um, certainly the, the challenger type sale. Um, would be all about delivering unique insights to new businesses and that can easily be done through social media. And I guess I spoke about some statistics around uh, social selling there and there, there are more statistics out there to suggest you know social selling sales rep are more successful than those not using or utilizing social selling and there's data out there to suggest as well that outbound B2B sales are becoming less and less effective. Um, I suppose according to a recent survey published in the Harvard Business Review, I think um, it found that connecting with a prospect takes around 18 or more phone calls. So to, to get that decision maker on the on the phone, um, can take around 18 phone calls or 18 tries, um, which is a lot. Um, callback rates are said to be around 1% to to returning sales calls, um, which is incredibly low. And around 24% of outbound sales emails are, are never even opened. So challenging statistics there in the traditional sort of sales and selling process. And what social selling does, it it's a bit of a softer approach to sales. And that does fit into um, today's decision-making processes where, where online and, and in particular social media plays a role now in, in, in businesses assessing tools, assessing services or products or technologies that they're going to invest in. And whenever they're making a final selection for, for B2B purchases and traditional Selling is is more like a sprint. Um, it it does usually have a shorter term approach, you know, where sales reps have have monthly targets and maybe high pressure environments to to make their quotas and and to sell as you know as as much as they can because maybe it's commission based. I'm not running down salespeople here, um, but sometimes that can um, you know, be the the reality, and that can often. You know, make salespeople maybe not think about the client relationship with with that particular business that they're selling to, because once they get the sale, it's then typically handed over to an account manager or an onboarding team to deal with, and and then they're on to generating the next sale. So there's maybe some sort of disconnect at times between um, that relationship between the people that they're bringing on and then what happens afterwards and and so on. So you know, social selling sort of you know, looks at that long-term relationship and aims to build these long-lasting relationships, which which do tend to be more profitable in the long run. And and as I said before, you know, it it has become much more difficult. I, I know myself in a B two B business, you know, to simply pick up the phone and 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 you know, cold call your way to a sale. You know, buyers and people that we're selling to have, you know, an unlimited amount of information online than they've ever had before. And they're asking questions online. They're seeking out advice on these social networks. They're they're researching to make you know their final purchase decisions. You know, on social media uh, as well as other online you know resources. And you know, today a lot of companies use the metric that it can take up to 100 phone calls to generate a sales appointment. And you know, that's a lot of that's a lot of calls. To make and, and depending on your conversion rate at your sales appointments, you know, to make 10 sales appointments, theoretically, that could be a thousand phone calls. And, you know, how many of those sales appointments can you convert, even if you converted five of them? Um, that is, 
you know, a thousand phone calls for, for five sales. And I guess it does depend on the value of the sale and so on, but that's a lot of contact time. That's a lot of phone calls for, for five sales or, you know, for the sales reward. So we can see maybe the, the, the benefits maybe over social selling has over maybe traditional selling.